Good morning. Not such a good morning. One, a lot of fibro pain today. Sorry for the shadowies. <laughs> shadowies, what's a new word? Uh, and then two, I just talked to you for a few minutes and hadn't pressed record, so yeah, a bit like that. Probably trying to tell me I shouldn't be vlogging today. I'm, I don't know, we vlogging very much, but you know, I've got to start the week off. Even if it's not too good, I'm about to go around the bath and hop in the bath and see if that helps. I've just been sort of kind of lying on the couch here. I have hung out two loads of washing. <laughs> I had a lot to do today. It's very, very windy again out there, so I don't know if you'll hear the wind or not, but it is windy. And I haven't got a lot of other essentials to do. I still got to do the dishwasher. It's, you know, they'll get done eventually. And I've got to cook some dog dinners that's again easy the luckily there's pumpkin cut so i just got to throw it all in the pressure cooker and i'll get that on in a minute and other than that it's probably just going to be trip planning today i'd say from based on how i'm feeling dogs have been for their walk so that's good they went with the with pauline our dog walker tomorrow i'm supposed to be walking them oh, i will be walking them even if it's just a little sniff walk like we did yesterday but oh man mm, not great this morning i don't know why who knows? I should be, you know, feeling good. I had a good day yesterday and I had a good night's sleep, so there's no reason I know of. But, you know, as we know, fibro just does what it wants, when it wants, and makes it hard to work it all out. All right, I'll go and have this bath and see if I can feel a bit better after that. I'm probably going to watch some vlogs in the bath. I've started doing that lately because I've got so many vlogs to watch. So. <laughs> I used to read. Oh, I kind of might, might read though. No, I think I'll, I don't know. We'll decide. I'm not going to, to finish my book, so I think I'll, I think I'll vlog. Because <laughs> if I get into my book, I might just want to keep reading my book. And oh, geez, um, watching vlogs will it'll inspire me to go do something, or at least um, motivate me to do something online. It'll, be, it'll help me do something, perhaps. Whereas reading will not help me do anything, but want to read more. <laughs> Alright, jeez. Uh, I'm very surprised at how bad I am today, I must say. It was not expected. <laughs> Sadly, I'm still not feeling great. I've just been pottering around. I have dished up the dog's dinner. Now I've just been sitting on the couch. But <laughs> one of our big gusts of winds, I assume has blown over the starling that's up the front. So I'll have to go up there and turn it back over if I want internet. <laughs> so I just sat for a bit longer because I wasn't really ready to go up originally. Like it's been out, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So I did a bit more. I did some editing on a video. I thought I can do that with that internet. I will trudge my way up now and 
taking it over. The problem is, it'll probably blow back over again. Some of those gusts of wind are really, really strong. Anyway, I'm gonna go do that now. Oh, our pins have blown over. Why did that bin not get picked up yesterday? Because it blew over. What's happened? We've lost power. I opened the fridge and before it's dark, but uh, we've lost power. That's what I didn't notice. That the lights have gone out because it's quite bright anyway. But yeah, that's what's happened. <laughs> so I've got the dog's vegetables out to to for them for dinner obviously I can't do that can't do microwave don't know what I'm gonna have for lunch <laughs> I can wait a bit though I might wait to get one more cup of tea because I bought the cup not long ago but I don't know how much water was in there and because we're here we have gas we don't have a, no we don't have gas here so I can't boil a cat boil, boil it on the stove that's one advantage <laughs> I think advantage of gas oh well, hopefully it won't be up for too long I mean Let's hope. Yeah, I've got food. I won't starve. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it'll be a puzzle kind of afternoon. I probably can't even do a lot of planning without the internet. I might be able to link to my phone. Maybe I can get use my phone for a hotspot. That's a possibility too. I might try that first. And I'm not really, don't want to send to my jigsaw quite yet. Do that for a little bit later on. <laughs> I mean, I could declutter and stuff, but I've just, I'm not, not feeling it today. I'm, I'm not pretty as sore as what I was earlier, but I've got no energy. Like I'm, yeah, I'm even just holding my phone. It's exhausting at the moment, my, my arm. Yeah, I'm not definitely not having a, a good a good day, so <laughs> we won't worry about any decluttering. Yeah, right. we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow will be a good day for me and we'll have power. Hopefully not out for too long. Well, it's lucky I got the dogs in the made earlier, isn't it? Because power's still out. Who knows how long it's going to be out. So I'm going to have to try and find something for my lunch. I planned on having potatoes in the air fryer. Or I could have a falafel wrap, but I usually warm them up. I guess I could have them cold. Oh, I'll just hide before I open the fridge since we're out of power. Um... Mm. So to my air fried vegetables and microwave vegetables if I can. Let's see, I'm trying to think. The cold falafels won't be the nicest, I don't think. I could do a wrap. I'm getting hungry now, it's 10 to 2, so <laughs> I'm ready to eat. Mm. Yep, okay, it's uh, or I've got hummus. Hummus and salad. That might be better actually, I might enjoy that a bit more. Yeah, I think I'll have that actually. Well I've just eaten half of my not very exciting wrap. The pout's come back on now. But yeah. Lunch is mostly had. <laughs> so that's okay. So I can do some Disney planning now, which is good. Is he Fred? I can hear Fred too. Do you see Fred? He's our friend. Yeah, he's our friend. He's only chewy. I'm not privileged that he wants to eat him. You wouldn't hurt Fred, would you? Good morning. Can you guess the situation? <laughs> Since I'm starting on the couch. Yeah, not feeling good at all. I didn't get up to 6.30, so I've only been up for an hour and a half. So there's still, I'm still hopeful. <laughs> but after yesterday, who knows? Let's just hope it doesn't last all day. Because I definitely want to get the puppies out on a walk. Even if it's just a little walk up the road, we'll do it. We'll, you know, 
can push back. Sorry, fridge just arrived again. Uh, here, I'll definitely get that. Chewy, quiet. Oh, my head hurts. My body hurts. <laughs> Haven't got a lot to do today. I have already ordered some groceries, so they're coming about one. Got to bring in the washing. Mm. Yeah, I haven't got a lot that needs done urgently. Just yeah, bits and pieces around the house and hopefully get the doggies out. Maybe do my little workout that I'm trying to do every day. Didn't do it yesterday. We'll try again today. <laughs> Get there eventually. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll check back in with you later. I think it's going to be another bath morning. Oh, I think I'll take so much of pain meds today if this continues because I do... Don't want to one another day, sort of not about to do much or struggling to do stuff. Didn't take anything yesterday. Yeah, I might do that today if <laughs> things don't improve in the next couple of hours. I did film <laughs> the effort I have to go to to get a shoe on, ready for a walk. But of course, you know, having one of those mornings and I didn't press record. Not that it was very exciting or anything. I was trying to film some different things. <laughs> Because I did my stocking, like compression stocking, and then the support bandage, whatever that's properly called, and then my shoe. It kind of fits in the shoe. It's a bit tight. We'll see how I go anyway. So, yeah, you can tell I'm taking the dogs for a walk. I don't feel great. So, we're just going to do the street walk, and that'll be okay. I can manage that because we can just go at a whatever pace the dogs want to go for a sniff at. So, I'll do that, and then come back and try and do my little bit of exercise here. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'll try. If, if I can't do that, I might do this for my own stretching or something. So at least I am doing some kind of movement. Where have I got my phone? There it is. Okay, I've got these pups. Um, get the leads on and then we'll head out. Beautiful day out here. It's really nice. T-shirt weather. I had to grab a hat because I found this little one I grabbed. <laughs> Nice to be out there. I feel I know, mentally good. I mean, I get to see nice flowers. This is probably the best assortment in the street at the moment. I think I filmed them the other day too. Because they are very pretty. Very nice. <laughs> I'm actually feeling a lot better. This is my shower, of course. I had to um, pull a rope on to go and answer the door. Yeah, it's quarter to 12, but just had my shower. <laughs> that was just some medication that Kevin got delivered here. I didn't even know it was coming. Uh, so I'll finish getting ready. I'm going to do my teeth and skincare and whatnot. And I'll get my jobs done. I'll bring the washing in and empty the dishwasher. That won't take long. And then I think I'm going to start in my wardrobe. I need the good declutter and I need to try a lot of things on there to see how things fit because with the weight I've lost things just aren't fitting like they did before so uh, it's kind of a bit of a bigger job because of that but I want to get it done before we have to move. Oh I didn't tell you a really good exciting news we actually get to see the place and do our inspection next Wednesday so just over a week away but that's really exciting. I can't wait to see it and just like look in the wardrobe and look in the kitchen cupboards and see exactly what we're getting. So, and see like the place with the flooring exposed. <laughs> we haven't seen that yet. So it's very exciting. And yeah, I can assume we can film and, and take photos. It's our apartment. Well, we'll be when it's all finished. <laughs> so I had to share that with you guys. But anyway, I'm going to finish myself ready. <laughs> 
and yeah, do those few little jobs. And then if I'm still feeling decent, uh, we'll come and do a bit in here, do a bit of decluttering. tummy going on of course it'd be something wouldn't they you now I'll get these shirts hung up and then I'll have a cup of tea and see how I'm feeling after that <laughs> has settled <laughs> weird uh, yeah anyway I've managed to get the dishwasher done and cleaned the bench with co so the kitchen's been wiped down as well this bench anyway and I've got dogs dinner direct dog vegetables going I've taken their dinner out the fridge um, to show up a bit later on Made myself another cup of tea which I'm gonna sit and have and then and the groceries are coming between one and two, but I'll see maybe at one o'clock or before perhaps. I'll get up and if the groceries are here, I'll get them sort of dealt with. It's not a big order again, I don't think. It's mainly Kevin's put out of fruit for work, so. And uh, yeah, that was the main reason I ordered for today. And got a few things to make for a dinner or two. I think dinner tonight's gonna be out the freezer. I was gonna make Hawaiian sweet potato, but I think I'll leave that and do that tomorrow. I'm trying to get some stuff from a wardrobe done, but we'll see. That's why I'm a bit dressed, more dressed up than I would be because I just tried this on to start with. <laughs> I just left it on. I'll change into more casual clothes when I've finished. Oh, I need to clean my glasses. That's the problem with exercising on the floor. I have the dogs come over and give you all the kisses and whatnot. Do you see my lip? It's been really dry and just like peeling. I don't know what's going on with it. I ordered myself a lip scrub this morning because I, I don't think I've got one. I can't find one here anyway. There could be one in storage, but I don't think so though throughout the last one because it probably had expired oh dear it, it seems nice outside but it's a little bit on the cool side so i am sitting in here and i need to try and do some planning but i really like to sit outside and do my planning that seems to be the easiest at the table and obviously as you know we don't have a table in here the only table i've got jigsaw on so i'll probably work <laughs> in the bedroom today because it's it's going to be warmer it's going to be hotter <laughs> Um, I guess I could stuck. I could always go and clear off the table that's up in the study up or the spare room up there, clear it off and pop the aircon on it and set up there and do stuff. But see how we go. Okay, before I have my lunch, I have brought in the groceries <laughs> and I put everything away. So I've still got a few things to deal with, put in the fridge or whatever. I do want to get them cut up, making sure I because the last time I bought some 
they just got wasted. But I think that's when I broke my foot or something around. Well, something happened anyway. So we'll do with that today. And I only want a half a pineapple. I've got a whole lot of pineapple. So I'll put potatoes away. And I have already washed the berries. They are washed and drying. And then I've got a few other things. Like I didn't get a lot. It's just a little top up. And then I'll do the versus afterwards. So that's done. So I think before I cook a potato for my lunch, I will go and show you the wardrobe situation. And you know, I may spend half an hour or so in there doing some stuff in that room. Kind of loves just a little bit. You can see out. Not that we can see much. Anyway. Head back in here. I bought some paper bags for stuff to throw out. Not that there would be much to throw out. I might even use it for donate stuff as well. I don't know. So obviously, some of her stuff's still in this wardrobe, so it's a bit of a a mess, but we'll focus mainly on the clothes. So I will have to um, try on some things. So I've already started, I am going to keep some of my clothes that are too big now and just to make sure that my weight, that I can sort of maintain this weight over the next sort of couple of months or so. And if I find I gain the weight, what game way back again then I don't have to go and rebuy everything. So I tend to I always tend to do that. And I love my saffron red clothes, so I don't wanna get rid of them presumptuously. I'm hoping I can maintain the weight or lose a bit more, but just in case that it's not feasible <laughs> long term. Uh yeah, I'll um keep some of those things. But I can probably put what I'm gonna keep perhaps up in there because they're very small, as you can see, they're very small sort of clothes. So I've got that sort of stuff I'm wearing for exercise there. And I've got some ironing at the end and that basket is ironing. So I probably should do that sometime, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just go through the wardrobe and have a look. I've already tried this dress on, so I know this dress and I've got a red one. The same fits, so I know they'll fit more as a skirt perhaps because it's a little bit big up the top. But if I've got, you know, something over the top of it, and these are all okay. Um, probably a bit early to put away these tops, but um, and they fit, they're, just, they're fine to wear a bit big. I've got to try on those pants, these ones I love, and they're getting a bit big, which is very sad. There is a tie somewhere, maybe if I found the tie, I could tie them and keep wearing them. I've had to retire already, um, that pile of clothes down there were way too big. All right, let me start here. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I've got. And I've got some here, yeah, some dresses here. I think are okay again. These pants are getting a bit big and I love them. So let's see if I can make them work or not. And then Kevin's got some jackets there. I've probably already gone through a lot of the stuff that I need to go through. So Kev's lost weight too, so he started to buy some things in a smaller size, but... We might try and get some more things in America for him. We'll see. I don't know. He bought two more tops. So he was supposed to buy long pants when he was in Cairns from Tommy Bahamas. But he bought shorts instead, which we could have got in America. But I think they're about the same price, perhaps even dear in America. But they have a much bigger range. All his casual clothes are all Tommy Bahamas now. <laughs> they just suit him. They're nice for him. Now he's got one Disney shirt and one really old. I think it's Maddox is the brand he used to wear. No, that's a Kathmandu one. There you go. I could go through that. That's just underwear and stuff, so that's fine. I've already thrown out some underwear that's gotten too big. Shoes, and many Kevin's shoes. I haven't got a lot to do in that area. And then, again, I've already gone through most of my pyjamas. So, because it's way too big now. I think most of these clothes fit. I can sort out. I bought some pyjamas, like... Disney wants to keep for Disney, <laughs> so I'm not wearing them yet. Some jeans that I think fit. These clothes I think all fit. I can go in my wardrobe now. Some things I have not worn before, which is nice. I'll just check. They're a little bit snug. They're probably okay now. And then I've got jackets that wear now, and then I've got my old jackets, which it's going to be quite cold when we're overseas. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I do, is this silly to do this job now? Mm, I might, I don't know. I 
and I've got clothes in storage so that makes it hard but I, oh yeah I'll do a try and do a tidy up we'll go try and go through and tidy up some stuff see if there's anything I can see that I can remove from the wardrobe so the wardrobe is full of clothes that actually fit all right I'll just I'll spend half an hour so do a bit there's probably not much point doing a proper sort and tidy because we're going to be out of here in you know hopefully less than a month Hopefully, month. Hopefully, this month. Well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? That was good. I did this. I just pulled this down. Kevin's swimsuit is board shorts that he wears are too big. But I might be able to get away with not buying him any for now because he's actually got one, two, three here. The ones he has are only elastic at the back, they're not elastic all the way around. And these have got a tie. So we might be okay with um, some of these ones. You'll have to try them on so that we can tie a bit because I don't know, you're going through a, you know, even if we've got some just to tie it over. I mean, there's more choice in America of uh, swimsuits from Tommy's <laughs> or whatever. Okay, um, I'll probably still keep my Christmas shirt. What have I got in here? Oh, some pajamas. Oh my goodness, more pajamas. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, and I've got that here too. Oh, there you go. I didn't know I had all that here. And Kevin's got a... Oh, this didn't fit him before. It'll fit him now. He might want to... <laughs> this is, um, everyone loves a ginger. He might want to wear that to the Christmas party. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm, as you can see, the wardrobe's getting a bit thinned out. I have a lot of coat hangers up there. And I have... <laughs> A box full of stuff. So we'll try that on. So I've got a couple of things there that will be good for when we're in the minivan, like camping, like buy a campfire kind of thing. Oh dear. Now I'm going to go put my potatoes on to cook for lunch. I'll come back and try a few more things on. I've still got the pile down there. Oh, a few things I don't know about quite. Like this dress, I love it. It's beautiful. I can't wear it by itself. It's too big in the bust. Um... <laughs> But it's okay with a little um black cardigan, blue, sorry, blue cardigan thing over the top. So I can still wear it for now and I'll try and get a bit of wear out of it. Not that I have anywhere just to go at the moment, but we can try <laughs> and see if I can get a little bit of wear out of that. I've moved some of my more wintry things. I'll still move a few more things into here. I mean, it's what is it? we are in spring now officially, so it's not a bad time to do this changeover. It's just so weird because things that fitted that you'd think they would be fit better fit different just because of my stomach. <laughs> so it's, yeah, a bit frustrating. I didn't expect that problem. Obviously older and just get saggier. But yeah, I'll come back in here and like that. I might just pop that in with the wintry sort of stuff. Put these long sleeves. <laughs> And I can move my little jackets through. The other one's got to be ironed. Um, these are fine. I think they should be fine, that one. I'll try it on, actually, because it's quite a big size. But I think that'll be all right. I had to retire this one because it's really quite firmish. And it just looks ridiculous. But I think that one being a softer material will be fine. We'll see. I'll try it on anyway and see. But anyway, I've still got plenty of clothes, haven't I? I can see there's still some in the ironing pile. Uh, you know, I don't want to buy a lot right now, but I need to obviously some things to wear. I'm probably okay. Well, I don't know. Am I okay? Probably not, actually. <laughs> I just like looking going, well, I've got plenty like for now. For like spring and autumn, I'm probably fine. But for summer, when it's really hot, maybe not. I haven't got a lot. Haven't perhaps got a lot for winter. I've still got to try my things on that I had for Alaska. Uh, anyway, we will... Um, We'll keep keep going. I'll come back. I'll come back. Put my shoes on, and I'll come back. Sorry, pups. I've no one to go outside and sit for lunch, and I'm just pooped. I've probably done a bit too much today. I'm gonna have my lunch. That's alright. Coda's gonna play fetch you with me. That's fine. Well, it's a bit chilly to go put a jacket on because it is actually quite cold. And I have got the house opened up. I think it's wishful thinking that it would be warmer than it is. I tell you, it's a little bit disheartening 
trying on new clothes and they're all too, some of them are too big. Or just don't sit the way they used to sit, as I said. Yeah, everything's not just getting smaller but saggier. So, it's, um yeah, so I've kept some things that are too big. I've only got a couple of things that are too small, which is pretty good going. Some jeans that actually fitted when I weighed more than I currently weigh, but obviously my body shape has changed. So, because I'm 10 years older as well. <laughs> and as I said, saggy. So that's a bit of a shame. They're still, they're getting there. I'd like to have to wear them at Disney World. But, you know, jeans are very handy. I haven't had jeans for years because trying to get jeans that suit my body, you know, especially one leg bigger than the other from my blood clot, it's always been difficult and challenging. I've got some that still look good, they just don't quite do up comfortably. But other than that, they're, you know, really good. All right, I'll sit down my lunch, have a rest, and then I'll to go and tidy up the bed at least, if nothing else, because obviously we all need to be sleeping there tonight. <laughs> yeah, I think I've watched some YouTube while I'm doing that. And let's see, yeah, I think I've overdone things because I'm actually quite sore now. Oopsie. I'm not used to, I mean, I've had a month of doing nothing. I'm not used to. Oh, did you put the ball under there? Well, that was silly, Billy. I'll have to go and get the ball for him. But you were trying to give it to me, did it roll? If it rolls, it rolls right under to the back. <laughs> Just come back in to tidy up here. Okay, don't think we're too bad. Everything's in piles. So I can get that sorted. I'm going to do today. I want to go work on my jigsaw puzzle for a little bit before Kevin comes home. So I'll tidy up. I might have to move some stuff to the floor. But yeah, I'll get the bed all cleared off and then I can do a bit more work in the wardrobe tomorrow. It's basically done. Like I've tried on, I think. I think most things that I have to try on. My new pants that I got for Alaska are way too big. I mean, I guess I could wear them if I had to, but they're pretty big. I don't think I need them for this trip anyway, but I'm thinking that for how. I was hoping that would still fit. I haven't tied my jackets on yet that I had for Alaska, but we'll see how they are. Probably top, probably jackets are a bit more forgiving than big pants, I guess. We'll see. Time to do some jigsaw. It's nice and warm in this room. <laughs> I think Fred's visiting. I think I just heard him. Oh, I'll sit into this for a little bit. They can't get through because there's a big box there now. Which is good. Here we are. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, I'm a bit late for dinner, but that's what I've done on my back. Hey, hello. Mr. Cody has been very naughty and very barky. Tonight. So that's a nice walk. Play with them. Okay, much better. Walk. We've got new places. We've got the little walks. I think it'll be more interesting for them. So, just shop your dinner, though, haven't you? So, you have to wait a few more minutes. The dogs are just all there. They've just finished. They did not. I'm just going to make my chia puddings and probably chop some strawberries for Kevin to take to work. Mm -hmm.